Let's turn to rugby because Italy are Ireland's next opponents in New Zealand for the Rugby World Cup. Here's what the Italian coach, the South African Nick Mallet, had to say about the coming challenge in the front row. Now, Ireland are, are, a, are a side that's really played so well against Australia, dominated Australia physically. But we know perfectly well that we've got a better front row than Ireland and we're going to go in there to try and prove that on Saturday. And I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that Castro Giovanni and Leo and uh, Toto Perugini can put us on the front foot. And if you're on the front foot, it makes it more difficult for them. Now, George Hook, Nick Mallet saying they've a better front row than Ireland. You buy that? Is Nick Mallard the same as the wooden mallet that Damien was called and the Angelus? <laughs> <He's a Mallard. laughs> oh, was a mallard. <laughs> oh, All right. uh, I think he's probably right. Uh, I think, uh, but not a substantially better front row than, say, Italy would have had against USA this morning when they got a penalty try at the scrummage. Uh, I think the the problem for Ireland is Ross and Healy have, will probably have to play 80 minutes because when we go into substitutions in the front row, then we're in trouble. Tell us about Tony Buckley. He's out there, a mountain of a man. His technique at the scrum is under severe scrutiny, though, isn't it? Well, it always was. I mean, Tony Buckley could never scrum it. Uh, you see, the thing about uh, uh, the scrum is that any competent architect or engineer could coach the scrum. The fellow who built uh, the fellow who built the fourth bridge in Scotland could coach the scrum because the scrum is about taking pressure. Now, if you build a building and you fail to put in a foundation, you know the building falls down. Scrum is exactly like that. The prop forward is the uh, foundation. Did, George, didn't we do a job on the uh, Australians and on the Russians in that front front row department? Yeah, but the Australians and Russians are no good. I oh, mean, the, the Italians are good at this oh, cr- yeah. crunch I up I mean, you yeah, haven't yeah, got yeah, Berlusconi yeah. in the front row for Italy. <laughs> well, you have plenty of lard. <laughs> whether, <laughs> I won't use the other, the other word he used, but there's lots of lard in there, but uh, this is a different game, effectively, oh, in yeah. Dunedin. You came in here a few weeks ago and you said this is where it's all going to be won or lost. will be on the playing fields of Dunedin. Yeah, well, I didn't, to be honest. I'm not you taking any credit. didn't expect us to beat Australia. For, but whether we beat Australia or not, Dunedin became critical because even allowing for this extraordinary win over Australia, if we lose tomorrow, we go home. If we win, we go forward. So Australia isn't in the equation yeah. tomorrow. It's Sunday, of course, George's match, isn't it? Sunday, yeah. sorry, yeah. We're fairly well sort of Keen Healy, Rory Best, Mike Ross as it stands. Uh, you've been talking in before the tournament about dedicating rosaries and prayer vigils to Mike Ross that he stays fit. Yeah, vitally important. Uh, it's You see, what... And Mallet's right. You see, usually coaches keep things up their sleeve. But when something is as obvious as Italy must uh, gain the upper hand of the scrum and to a degree at the line, they're going to try and do to us what we did to Australia. I mean, the extraordinary thing about Sunday morning's game is that it's a mirror image of, of the Australia game. This time, we're the ones who are going to be trying to make it a quick, mm. based on the backs, passing game. And the the Italians are going to try George, and slow it down. George, we have to win this game, but we also have to make sure we don't lose key players. Is that right? Well, you see, you can't ensure you don't lose play, key players. The problem, the problem with a seven-week tournament, with effectively um, a one rest day, the Russians, to win it, you have to play flat out in in the most physically intensive game played on grass uh, for seven consecutive weekends. That's tough on anybody. George, you're the most optimistic man I know. That's yes. fair to say. So yes. looking ahead to the match on Sunday, call it now. Fine, I'm happy to call it. Uh, I just reflect on history for a minute. I mean, the last time we met these guys, the Italians, which is only this year, we needed O'Gara. To, to kick a drop it's goal. Two point margin. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. drop to goal. So I yeah. don't think it's going to be easy, but I think Ireland will win because if we get 50% possession, I think that'll be enough for a superior backline to win. But if it turns into a kicking contest, I hope to God Kidney has O'Gara in the number 10 shirt. <laughs> That's a vote of confidence in the, in the Leinster <laughs> no, kicker there. No, we'll, t- we'll take the positive out of it. We're going to win. That's okay. That, I We're think going that, to win. That, let's strip that out. We're going to win. All right, George Hook back on the right hook from four thirty this evening. George, thanks very much for coming in. This is lunchtime uh, with Damien Kybert and Jonathan Healy.